judiciary is an institution with indispensable services to the society. Amidst the global COVID-19 pandemic, which has put strain on fiscal court hearings as we know it, the Federal High Court has authorized all judicial divisions nationwide to begin virtual court sittings with certain health guidelines. The Senate in May considered amendments of the Constitution to legalize virtual court meetings a bill which passed its first reading, even though certain law experts are of the opinion that the current constitution makes provision for remote court proceedings. One thing that is permanent in life is change. Even the constitution you are talking about is subject to amendment. So because of the situation we are in now, not only in Nigeria but throughout the world, a lot of dynamism have come into play in so many areas and the judiciary is not uh, isolated from all these uh, changes. So that is why by this time last year we were not talking about uh, virtual proceedings. But because of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic that is all over the world, the world has to move on. And because we don't have to be static because everything about us is changing. So that's why where well, now the judiciary is thinking along that line of changing so that we don't put the life of litigants, the life of uh, judicial officers, the life of lawyers into jeopardy. So, but we have to carry on with the uh, judicial process. So in practical terms, it is possible, it is practicable, so long as the procedure is followed. We have to create a room for it to happen. Time-bound cases, I've seen states like Lagos, adopting the virtual hearing process before the Federal High Court approval. Law experts have divisive views on the legitimacy of such authorization in accordance with the Constitution. Well, it's an argument that I feel is uh, already over-debated. And as far as I am concerned, what needs to be done is what legal state government and the Kitty State Government, I think they've already done. Our understanding is that they've already gone ahead, they've gone to court asking for an interpretation, considering the provisions of the Constitution, particularly Section 36, Subsection 3, which talks about trials being conducted in public, that when you just oppose this, with the guidelines as released either by NJC or most of the heads of the other courts, that obviously there will be a conflict. And it's already an established ground that is not subject to any debate. Section 1, subsection 3 of the 1999 Constitution as amended today provides clearly that where there is any conflict between the provisions of the Constitution and that of any law, no matter the amount of time, the industry that may have been put into legislating such law, that such law must be declared nor void and unconstitutional. As, as it is now, in the rules of courts before this uh, pandemic, there was no such uh, procedure, strictly speaking. But because of the uh, situation of things, um, attempts are being made to make sure that we don't do anything that is contrary to the rules of the court and the constitution of the land. So they are making, uh, they are making plans and putting heads together, stakeholders are meeting to make sure that in as much as it's a welcome development, it should be something that it should be in tandem with the law and with the rules of the courts. Another burning question would be the accuracy of access to justice outside of brick and mortar courtrooms. The judgment of the court is based on the facts before it, based on evidence that is before it. So eventually, whatever the court will decide is purely based on what is presented before the court as evidence, what is presented to the court as facts, what is pro uh, um, uh, proved in evidence. So it, it will definitely not affect, the fact that we deliver judgment by visual means will not essentially affect uh, judgment per se. So, um, visual proceedings based on the um, rules that will be, will be in focus, that will be in play, definitely will not affect judgment or uh, uh, proceedings as a matter of fact, so long as you conform with the rules of courts. Only time will tell the level of judiciary success that could be achieved 
outside of the break and water courtrooms.